What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Huffs Bears postgame show episode. This is the last one for the preseason. You know, week one, we're almost there, 15, 14 days away. But this game, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff I want to cover. You know, the Bears versus the Bills, preseason week three. Uh, many storylines, you know, some things to be concerned about, some bright spots, some things to be happy about. Uh, but, you know, got to start off with Justin Fields in this offense. They struggled in the first couple drives. But then, you know, they were clicking on Justin Fields' last drive in. Threw a nice dot to DJ Moore, and he had a 40-yard gain right, you know, after catch. Yak King, he did his thing, broke some tackles, had a big gain. Uh, that's something, you know, I really want to see. Every time DJ Moore gets a ball in his hands, he seems to do something special with it. And I want to continue seeing that, you know, this regular season, not in the preseason. Uh, but, you know, offensive line, Doug Kramer got banged up. And on the play, Justin Fields threw a screen to Deontay Foreman and, you know, he got clapped literally after uh, he threw that ball. So that's something you don't want to see, especially in the preseason. Already with the concerns we have on the offensive line, you know, seeing Justin Fields get hurt and get knocked down, that's not something we want to see. So, you know, Eberflus and the Bears staff took Fields out out of that drive. Didn't let him, you know, score a touchdown. You know, Bajan came in. But, you know, that's just something that was huge concern. Kramer obviously going down too. A lot of, you know, other injuries. Noah Sewell, you know, went on the cart too in this game. So just injuries really have been hitting us really hard lately. That's something that's really concerning me heading into week one against the Green Bay Packers. But, you know, other than that, Tyson Bajan came in. He had a rushing touchdown, threw an interception, but that was mostly on Carlson because he dropped the ball and, you know, fell in defenders' hands. But, you know, other than that, Bajan was, you know, really good in this game and the drives he was in. Uh, he's definitely taking that uh, backup quarterback position, I think. It's his job to lose. You know, a P.J. Walker, he stepped in, you know, in the last couple minutes of the game and, you know, he threw a touchdown. But still, I think Bajan has, you know, won that uh, job. Um, you know, didn't see too much from everybody else on the offensive side other than that, other than Bajan's performance. Not too much uh, from Roshan Johnson or some of the other receivers I was excited about. Defensively, Tyreek Stevenson, you know, two holding penalties, but, you know, he's a rookie quarter, cornerback, so just give him some time. You know, there's going to be some growing pains. Had an interception, picked off Kyle Allen. That was great. It was a great play by him, and just stuff like that is really making me confident in him. He's going to be a special player. Um, up front, Travis Gibson, he had a, you know, a sack, a strip sack, but he requested a trade during the game. That's something I'm going to get into in another video, but other than that, you know, this game really wasn't too much, too much, you know, to talk about. Uh, you know, Tyler Scott had a big return. I think we'll see more from him, you know, doing kickoff returns and punt returns. I think that's the guy I feel the most confident about right now on our roster. You know, it's special teams. Bayless Jones really has disapp disappointed us consistently. So, you know, I think Tyler Scott is, is our best shot right now, unless we sign somebody in the waivers and the claims. Uh, but, you know, right now, you know, Tyler Scott's winning that job. Bajant won backup quarterback. Uh, and really with Travis Gibson uh, requesting a trade, that just frees up more uh, space for Rasheem Green to make the roster or DeAnthony Jones, maybe one of the underrated defensive ends on this team. So, you know, I'm excited for week one. Injuries really have just been the biggest concern for me. So many guys have went down in this game. So many guys have been going down and, you know, the pre in the practices and training camp. So, you know, offensive line, especially who's going to be starting for us, you know, week one, but a lot of guys are coming back and Eberflus and the staff are confident that, you know, guys like, you know, Eddie Jackson, Brisker and Claypool will play week one. So, that's, that's, you know, reassuring, but there's just going to be a lot of guys that are going to be on that injury report. I know week one. So, you know, if we can get healthier, as healthy as possible heading in against the Packers, I'll be okay. But right now it's a huge concern and I'm not as confident as I was when I did the record prediction, but still, you know, all in all pretty good preseason. Saw a lot from, you know, the pass rush unit, you know, that was one of the Heading into, you know, this offseason, that was like one of the units I was like, we need to be better at. But in the preseason, eight sacks in the first game, you know, Terrell Lewis, he's been doing really good in this preseason. Uh, Travis Gibson, if we could keep him, that's another piece, uh, but more confident in that unit. But, you know, like I said, injuries, man, if we can't get that shit together, we we going to fuck around and go three and 14 again. <laughs> I saw Stephon Diggs, too. They said he wanted, like, they gave his three teams. It was the 49ers and the Bears. I forgot what the other team was. 
But I'm, but this is all like speculation. He he said it wasn't true. He wants to retire a bill. So I don't mean to get your hopes up, but 